Have you ever wanted a banner of continuously scrolling and looping logos, just endlessly scrolling across the screen? Well, I was recently working on a project where I needed something like this, but I couldn't find anything out there. So I decided to create a plugin of my own. And in today's video, I'm excited to go over how to add this plugin to your Squarespace site. So I'm here in my Squarespace site and I have the plugin instructions open in another tab. Now, the first thing we need to do is add an auto layout section and we can do that by adding a section and clicking the people tab and choosing the option in the top right. So I'll go ahead and edit the page and then I'll add a section and I'll click people and I'll choose this one in the top right. So now that we have this section added, uh, we can hover over the section and click the edit content tab. And in the elements tab, we want the title toggled on and we also want show image toggled on. Next, we'll go to the content tab and upload all of the logo images. So I will go to content and delete the default items. And I already have all of my logos uploaded to the site already. So I'm going to just go ahead and add them as items here in the content tab. Okay, so I've added all of my logos. Um, I'm gonna hop over to the, uh, I'm gonna click out of this menu and go to edit section. And I'm just gonna change the color to black. That way we can see our logos because I am using white logos. Uh, so I just wanna flip over the color just so we can see them. So step six is the edit, uh, the design tab. So I have to make sure the section list is set to simple list. We're gonna center align everything, turn the max columns to six and the image crop to three, two. And then I'm gonna click style in the design tab and make sure the card option is toggled off. Next, we will customize the size and space option in the design tab. The layout width should be set to full. The media width is how we control the size of the logos. I want it to be centered. Space between items, we're gonna click the three dots and set both to zero. Next, space between elements, we're gonna click the three dots and set the space below the section title to 92. And this is what triggers the plugin to have the code applied to the section. So that's a really important step. It has to be 92. Now you can see because I've set that section title to 92, the plugin code is now applying. So right now this section is just a little bit tall. I want it to be a little bit skinnier than it is. So I'll edit the content, go back to the size and space tab and the, for the vertical padding, I'll just set it to small. And then for the position, um, I like them all to be centered. It's always good just to center them. And that's it. So that's the plugin setup. Now when we click save again, you can see that the elements start scrolling um, and they fit perfectly inside of the box. And we do have some customization options. So that's the last step. You can update all of these parameters. So depending on how many logos you have in here, you'll want to update the logo animation speed. If you only have a few logos, then it's gonna be animating really fast. So you'll probably want to turn up the animation speed just to make it go a little bit slower. So again, you'll have to adjust this. And you can have multiple sections. So these are global parameters. So as long as you have another section that follows the same section settings, an easy way to do that is just to duplicate this section. So now this section will also be scrolling as well. And as I update these parameters, these are global and will apply to all of these logo scrolling sections. So if I change this here, you can see it's changing it for both. The scroll direction, by default it's set to normal, but you can also set it to reverse and they'll scroll the other way. But I like them going from right to left. And then finally we have the logo width on desktop and on mobile. So you can adjust this as needed too, um, just to kind of figure out what size you like best. But for me, you know, 250 works. And then on mobile, you might want to change these as well, depending on your the size of your logos. So I've put separate controls here if you want them to be bigger or you want them to be smaller. Totally up to you. But yeah, the nice thing is we have some more fine control through these customization options here. Now, what if you want different settings, different customization settings for different sections? Well, the nice thing is you can override variables. So if I wanted this bottom section to scroll the other way, 
and to scroll much slower, what we can do is we can target this section using its data section ID. So I'll right click on this section and click inspect and that'll bring up my Chrome inspect tools. And I'll scroll up until I find the data section ID on the section. So here we have the section and then here we have the data section ID. So I can target this unique ID to only style this one section. So I'll open up some brackets and then paste in that data section ID, open up some curly brackets, and now I can just copy these variables. Uh, but when I update these variables, it's only going to be updating for this one section. Now, if you're a more experienced Squarespace uh, web designer with CSS, you might have the block identifier extension. So that's a very easy way to just select the data section ID instead of having to go into your, you know, the inspect uh, Chrome developer tools. So now for this bottom one, maybe I want this to go the other way. So I'll do a reverse. And maybe I want them scrolling much slower. So for the whole animation speed, I'm gonna make it take longer and it'll scroll slower. So you can see you can have you know multiple scrolling banners on a single page. You can have multiple scrolling banners across the site, and you can set up you know custom settings for each of the sections on your site just by targeting that section and then overriding those global variables. So one last quick tip is just so you don't have to, you know, every time you want to use a scrolling banner section, you know, it's kind of a pain in the butt if you have to add a new auto layout section, go to the people tab, update all of the settings. So a nice thing that we can do now is save a section. So if I just go ahead and click the heart on this, whenever I want to add a new scrolling banner section, I'll click add section and go to my saved sections. And now I can just click this banner and it's automatically set up to be scrolling because all of those section settings are going to be already set up and they're already going to trigger you know, my code to run the scrolling banner. So that's kind of a nice thing um, that I recommend is if you want to use this multiple times across your site, just go ahead and save a section when you have it set up and then go to that saved section tab every time you want to add it again to your site. And that's it. I've made this plugin really easy to add to your Squarespace site and also easy to customize it. So if you're interested in getting the plugin, the link is in the description below. If you're interested in more Squarespace content like this, consider subscribing to the channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.